This video will cover sketch dimensioning. All of the dimensioning in Alibre Design is done with this single tool. This single tool allows you to dimension a linear line, the angle between two lines, the diameter or radius of an arc or circle, the linear distance between circles and or arcs. While in 2D sketch mode, the dimensioning tool is located here in the 2D sketching ribbon. You have a choice of either standard or ordinate dimensioning. Standard dimension is the default selection. To apply a standard dimension to a line, click on Standard Dimension on the ribbon, then click on the line, and the position of the mouse determines how the measurement of the line will occur. When you have the orientation you are looking for, click once at the location of the mouse cursor to place the dimension. In the small dimension box that appears near your mouse cursor, you see the actual measurement. Because the Libre sketch dimensions are parametric, you can change the value in the box and the object being dimensioned will transform to match the new value, as seen here. You can adjust this value up or down with the arrows in the box, or simply enter the desired value on your keyboard and press Enter. You also have the option of clicking the Equation key to bring up the Equation dialog. If the value in the dimension box is OK, you can click on the green check mark or press the Enter key on your keyboard to place the dimension. Clicking on the red X or pressing the Escape key on your keyboard will abort the dimension, leaving you in dimension mode. To apply an angular dimension, start the standard dimension process as before with the line. Select one of the lines and notice how it defaults to the linear dimension. Now select the second line. Move the cursor to the desired location and left click to place the dimension. The same parametric options available with linear dimensions are available with angular dimensions. To apply a radial dimension to an arc or circle, start the standard dimension process. Select an arc or a circle, placing the dimension where needed. The same parametric options are available here as well. With arcs, you can also dimension the opening. Select the ends for the overall opening width, or select the arc and then select one of the endpoints to obtain a dimension from the arc center. Since the center to endpoint distance is the same as the arc's radius, this dimension is enclosed in parentheses in this case, which denotes a reference dimension. Also note that the center to endpoint dimension is automatically created, so the dimension's outside extension line is tangent to the end of the arc. The Auto Dimension feature can speed up the process of adding dimensions to sketches. To use this feature, press the Alt key on your keyboard, then select the Sketch pull-down menu. Select Auto Dimension to bring up the Auto Dimension dialog. Click on the Apply button to apply to all sketch figures or select specific figures, then click Apply. We're just going to choose all figures for this example here. Click on the Close button, and drag the various dimensions to the desired locations if necessary. When dimensioning between two arcs or circles, there may be more than one way to set the dimensions. When ambiguity is encountered in a situation like this, the Libre will present you with a Slot Dimension Option dialog. When dimensioning a slot, the center to center dimension, number 3, is generally used, so this is the default in the drop down menu. If another dimension configuration is desired, it can be selected from the menu. The usual center to center selection is applied first and placed above the slot. Then the outside to outside selection is applied and placed below the slot, just for demonstration purposes. While the dimension tool is used mainly in a single sketch, in many cases the dimension tool can also be used with different features in a model. A sketch is easily dimensioned to an existing model using the same methods already presented. For example, an angle is dimensioned here between the edge of this rectangular sketch and the edge of the 3D model. To edit a dimension, right click on the dimension, select Edit from the pop up menu, Change the value of the dimension, and then click on the green check mark or press Enter on your keyboard. The Enter key is used here, but that's just a matter of preference. 
This video covered many aspects of applying sketch dimensions in a Libre design. You learned that all the dimensioning in a Libre design is done with a single tool. The parametric nature of a Libre's dimensioning process was explained, and linear, radial, and angular dimensioning was covered as well. You also learned about the auto dimensioning feature and how Libre assists you with dimensioning between two arcs or circles and the ability to dimension between sketch figures and 3D models.